All right, here we go again with another project for a laser cutter here. We're gonna do a laser cut box. It'll have what's called a living hinge on the side. That's what this, uh, that array is, rectangular array, uh, so that you can actually bend it. So it's not gonna cut through the wood all the way and it'll be one piece of wood. All right, so a couple things on here. Uh, you might notice I leave an equation for you guys to solve. Uh, I'm sure everyone appreciates that. But the main reason why I left it like that is that this radius here is a ratio between this array over here. Look how straight that line is. Dang. So uh, what that means is you can adjust and have different lengths and all this other stuff here. And this can be a wider uh, curve. And then that will adjust your radius here. So this allows you to have a different size box and it'll still work. All right. All this fun stuff up here, we can save for last. It's the array. I really didn't know how to best to write that, but that's how I chose to. Uh, but we can start with just the full overall shape. Remember, we have the mirror command, so you want to draw half of this, really. I'll mirror everything over. And let's begin. So I'm over here in AutoCAD, and I have the full dimensions. I just have my layers, a centerline layer, and dimensions just to show you guys but I'm gonna start with a rectangle and my rectangle is if you all look back over here let's get the highlighter out we have a 10 and 7 eighths by a 3 inch rectangle so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna click I'm gonna start dragging out so the first number is 10 and 7 eighths so you can do this a couple ways um, you can do 10 and then a decimal point 875 or look, don't forget, you can have the minus sign, minus, and then seven divided by eight. That'll uh, differentiate that. I wanna get to the other side though, so it's tab three, enter. There is our rectangle there. I'm gonna zoom in. So our entire box will fit here, except for the two side pieces. This will be our entire box. Now I'm gonna throw in the center line just to make my life easier for a lot of the other dimensioning stuff, right? So I'm just gonna click that and I'm actually going to uh, drag this, I don't know, one out on both sides, just so it uh, is clear that this is not part of our drawing and it's just the center line. So on this side here, we're gonna go in onto the object, right? We have this line here, so we gotta draw this T going in, but on this side here, we have to draw this side going out, right? Our dimension, only goes to the outer edge here. So when I go back over here, I'm gonna start with the left side, right? So I have an inch and a half total width there. I have a quarter inch from the side, and then a one eighth. So I can do a couple offsets, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an offset by a quarter, then an eighth. So I'll have a quarter, it will give me that line, and then an eighth will give me that line. So offset, it doesn't matter what layer I'm in right now because it will just offset my uh, line that I have, the layer I have. So 0.25 for this one, 0.25, enter, click. Whoa, so that's doing the whole box. Look at that, right? Since we do a rectangle. So first we have to explode this so they're individual lines. So now if I offset, 0.25 is still saved. So enter now, I'll just do the one line, which is what we wanted. And then the next one is 1 eighth. So I'm gonna hit escape, I'm gonna hit Offset again, but this time it's going to be 0.125, or you can do 1 divided by 8, and there you go. Inside this area here, we have our tab, or our slot for our lock. You'll see how this works when we laser cut it. And information we're still missing is the 3 ace over here, which we got to put in, and then the 1 and a half. So what is the best way to do that? Looking over here, I want to get that slot in here. So what, how can I get that easily? Well, let's just figure out the first one. So this is why we have our center line. And if I go up, if I go up three eighths, that's not correct, right? I'm in my wrong layer. If I go up three eighths, that won't work. I need to go up half of that. So what's half of three eighths? It's just three sixteenths, right? You just multiply the denominator by two and you'll uh, get your fraction in half. So if I go up three sixteenths, now when I go over with my perpendicular, I now have my slot. And then how far up do I go? Well, the information they give us over here is one and a half. So if I go from my uh, point here on the outside, 
I go up half, one and a half. That's a buck fifty. What's half of a buck fifty? Seventy-five cents. Enter. And now when I go over, there you go. If I highlight, trim, I can get rid of these up here. And I can get rid of that guy in there. I actually can get rid of that guy in there as well. And then trim it because that one was on top. Now I can uh, highlight, mirror, about my center line, there to there, erase source objects, no. Highlight everything again. Let's start trimming things away. Clean it up. There you go. May have some double lines, but that's okay. Actually, it's not okay. Since we're laser cutting it, that'll just cut it twice. Yeah, see, when I mirrored it, there's double. But there's our slot there. So we already have that slot on the left side, and we have everything for that. I'm just gonna throw in dimensions, just to confirm. Let's be in our dimension layer, that'd be nice. And now you look, this should be three eighths. And it is. Uh, if I wanna change that and see fractions, I, if I type in dim style, S-T-Y, I can change uh, this to fractions here. So architecture will give us a uh, offset like that, and that's how we'll do it close and then updated that to three so that's correct there and if i do my dimension here to here right one and a half beautiful do a dimension from here to here a quarter here to here an eighth right that's everything that we want so i'm going to turn off my dimension layer and move forward so let's go do the other end here on this side now we're going to be sticking out and since we're sticking out uh, we can do offsets in that direction. So what do we got? I have an offset of one eighth. In all of these, you'll see one eighth. And the reason being the thickness of our wood, our plywood is one eighth thick. Uh, our laser cutter can cut through that. So that's why we're going with one eighth. So I have a one eighth offset. Then I have a quarter inch offset. Same as the other side, but in reverse. This is a side that's going to tuck into that side. So my first one is offset, offset. Distance is one eighth still from last time. Yep, there to there. Enter. Offset. Distance now is 0.25. Enter. Click out. So in this area, we'll be able to draw uh, what's left. Switching back over, you'll see we have our three eighths and our one half again. Same idea as before, but it's in reverse. This end here is going to tuck into that end. This wraps around. So let's uh, get that in there. Hello, Rosie. Uh, one half and three eighths. What is the first? The first one is the one half. So if I do line, line, and I go from my point here, and I go up, I go up 0.75, enter. I go over. Rosie is stepping on my headphone cord. Thank you, Rosie. Rosie. Okay, dog. Where's he? <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything here. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Right? So, uh, where was I? 0.75 there. And then the next one on the outer one here is 3 eighths. Remember, that is 3 divided by 16 since we're doing half. And I can go up to there. So now uh we can if i just click these two here we can just mirror these two mirror here to here no highlight trim get rid of all this stuff like that it doesn't like that because that was that first one and now when i highlight and trim there you go so what are we missing? We're missing the little box up here. And it's spaced evenly in between. So you'll notice over here, it says 1 8 square. Again, every, a lot of the stuff's gonna be 1 8 because that's the thickness of our wood. And it's placed uh, in there evenly. I missed some dimensions in there, whoops. But it's uh, spaced out in the middle there. So if I go up to a rectangle, I'm just gonna draw this out here. It's 0 0.125, tab 0 0.125, enter. There's our square. Where do I put it? I'm gonna put it one eighth down 
uh, the slot here. So if I go here this way, 0.125, enter, escape. I now have my endpoint. Do I? Or that's the center point. It's not even on the line. Jeez, polar S snaps. That's not good. Um, I believe I'm just going to, oh, here we go. I got a better idea. I can just do the midpoint here down, down, midpoint, midpoint. That is our center. So if I highlight, type in move, enter, select base point. I'm going to choose the center of it. Move in, intersection point. There you go. And now I can delete that. Now we have our square on the inside. Good work team. Moving right along. We have the full outer uh, dimensions of this uh, rectangle, this box. I am going to stop this here since you guys generally don't watch videos that are longer than 10 minutes. And I'm just going to stop there, have a little bit of progress to get that going. When we come back for part two, I'll draw the zigzags, which is our interlocking part of the fold. And these box here's boxes here. Hopefully that will be enough. I'll have enough time left over to draw the array. All right. That's part one of the laser cut box. Good luck, have fun.